Legit, that's a wicked car. Boom. What'd you find? Oh, look underneath there. Wouldn't be DD if we didn't break something on the new car. Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to another episode of Daily Driven Exotics. Dave and I are gonna go and get a downpipe for the Supra and get that boost going a little higher. Apparently you can get this the boost on that turbo, pure turbo set up to 29 PSI. That's insane. I don't know anything about it. That's so, a lot. You're, he had an Acura Integra back in the day that ran seven pounds of boost. That's a lot. So 29 is a lot more. A lot of boost. Why don't we go boost this thing up, get some coffee, yeah. and we'll see what this Supra can really do. All right, get in your Toyota, let's go. <laughs> I'm really liking this car for two main real like big reasons okay. that we don't get out of our supercars. Okay. The simple front engine rear wheel drive platform yeah. is so much more controllable to drift and slide. If you've never driven a mid-engine car and tried to slide it, all that weight in the back has a very, very sensitive line that if you cross, it's just gonna spin out. Where this, you can literally like just like full send it <laughs> and just ease off the gas and it'll just perfectly straighten out and just go wherever you want it to go. So two things, one, I love the Supra. I'm having a lot of fun. Can't wait for today's downpipe to get even more power because yeah. then you're gonna, you're gonna be able to easily get into third and power in third, which means more speed, crazier looking drifts for you guys. But number two, we need to buy like a, an F12, done deal, yeah, F12, yeah. front engine, rear wheel drive supercar that screams. On that note of positivity, I freaking love the GT3 RS. Legit, that's a wicked car. Don't even talk to me, it's not front engine. I don't want to hear Oh, it. yeah, listen to this guy, Mr. Supercar. Like, selling every DD car we have. You're a get, super guy now. It's all front engine. Let's go get this downpipe. Okay, let's go. Five minutes later. Something's dragging on the ground. What'd you find? Oh, look underneath there. What is that? What? Something's dragging. What? We don't need that. Oh, it's like part of the thing flipped down. Yeah. It's the pad. I love panels. <laughs> it's literally like half chewed off. We're like on the side of the freeway. <laughs> you get it back up? Yeah. Here, hold on. Hey, did they get dirty? Yeah. There's a plug missing. Wouldn't be DD if we didn't break something on the new car. Right away. And we are right at AFE power. And it's freaking windy. I'm getting dust in my eye right now. Super windy. You can get a really sick slow-mo of the US and California flag. Get it. Here we go. Oh, let's get, let's get some of these for the Supra. We even read already. What's that for? For a Supra. It's not for a Supra. We got all sorts of crazy stuff. Look at this. All right, I could go to like turbo school here. See that? It's an impeller shaft. A what? It's the impeller shaft right there. You always are pointing out the shaft in everything you do. No, that's my passion, so. Mike. Perfect. Say hi to our audience. Hey. You guys, this is Mike from AFE Power. You guys do everything here. Yes, we do. Tell us really quick in your 10 second pitch what you guys do. Uh, high performance, high flow filters, intakes, exhaust, suspension, manifolds, electronics, hats, shirts. Yeah, really sick merch. We got some, we got some merch. <laughs> Always, you got to have merch in your store, right? Absolutely. I think, I think some guy on TV said that one time. So we came here today specifically for more power. So we were getting down pipes for the 2020 Supra, the MK5, and they are right there. Now, why are we getting two of them? Well, guess what? Our friends here at AFE are also gonna hook up our friend, Parker from Vehicle Virgins. So we're gonna deliver one of these, but let's unbox one here. That'd be cool. And we'll have a look at what you guys have. Absolutely. All right, let's do it. Landing. Beautiful. I love it. Cheers. You guys don't hurt it. yourself with the AFE. Oh, my Dave, oh. don't do it, oh, oh, don't hey, do it. Hey. Boom. Look at these welds, you guys. That is insane. That's beautiful. Well, we're gonna take this. We're gonna take it down to our friends at Sheepy Race. We're gonna bolt this on, 
and we're gonna see just how much more power we get, especially with an upgraded turbo. Thanks again. Hey, thanks guys. Mike. Thanks for coming by. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, come on, guys. come on, Pick, come on, come on. You got those? Got this? Super light. <laughs> get out of here. Thanks, guys. Have yeah. a good day. See you guys. All right, here. Let me get the door for you. Guess what? What? We have a trunk. Oh, we do have a trunk. You oh, I've already got shoes. I've already got shoes and stuff in here. Hold on. There. Will that fit? Oh, let me get one of them. These are big. There's one. And the other one's going. Well, no, the other one. Can you slide it right under here? Does this lift up at all? Oh, it does. It does come out. Of course, it does. They make Camry. Did they have any bracket? All right, there we go. You throw the other one on top. We're Pretty good. hard on this brand new car. <laughs> go on, just keep going. We're gonna be late. We have like 45 minutes to get back and install this thing. Right, but, uh, there you go. That's not gonna close. Oh! <laughs> This thing's fast. I gotta say, he looks good in that merch, doesn't he? He does. Nice shirt. <laughs> hey, Johnny. I got a present for you. Johnny, you got a present. Unboxing. Let's see it. Someone else has already unboxed it, though. We already unboxed it. We already beat you to it. God, it's like my first girlfriend. It. Looks like your first girlfriend. Hey, you know what? <laughs> What's that fan for? I mean, mama raised the. I'm trying to get burned. You just need oven mitts to do this. Legit, we were just ripping here for the past 45 minutes and the car's very hot. So, Johnny's got a fan on there, he's gonna cool it down, and get it done for you guys. Charlie has a great idea. Charlie? Yay, what's up, guys? So, we're gonna order a pizza and see if we can install this pretty cool downpipe before it gets here. So, installing a downpipe faster than a pizza can be delivered. All right, let's go. All right, let's the who's challenge. Order, who's who's ordering? Who's, who's, where's Johnny? Oh, nice. Is Johnny here right now? Huh? Not this Johnny, the other Johnny. Yeah, we need... Johnny's here. Okay, I'll get him to do it. <laughs> yeah, he does all that. Okay, Run, okay, let's okay, get him. Okay. Go, 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 go. Hey, go. It's a, it's a race. Johnny! You on the phone right now? No, I'm just doing product Can test. you order us a pizza? We're gonna do a challenge. Will the pizza get here before the downpipe's done? So we order pizza, the challenge is they have to finish this on the downpipe before the pizza gets here. <laughs> is it my challenge or is it the pizza challenge? Because if it's my challenge, I get it delivered here in 10 minutes. How? I know the owner of a pizza place. Do it, do it, do it. Get a bunch of food for everybody, okay? We'll pay for it. And like, work your magic. We'll beat Johnny. I need your card. My card? All right, hold on. Just to mess with Johnny, this, uh, there's two Johnnies here, which was confusing. Johnny number old and Johnny number young. Johnny young knows the owner of a pizza place. We can call him a favor and see if we can speed up the pizza delivery and put the pressure on the team here. Can I get a large meat lovers? Can I get it here ASAP? We're cheating a little bit. Okay, that's even better. And then I got a card for your for you to charge. Okay. It's my card. Oh, sorry. Right, pizza's ordered. It's on now. Is there a pineapple? He's on sneaky. It? No. Do you like pineapple? Oh, this challenge is over. <laughs> You're a he, pineapple, he on pineapple, pineapple on pizza, pizza guy? You would be that guy. Wow. I know what I like. Straight call out. Cool. I ordered like a meat lover and a pepper and like a I knew we always had that difference. I always knew that. <laughs> what are you laughing about? He's calling him a favor. He called the owner of the pizza shop. Oh god. The guy's gonna fly down here in his M5, watch. <laughs> That's not fair! <laughs> the chain ones! All right, tech talk, Johnny. What's the first step in removing the stock factory downpipe? We remove the air intake box. First step. Second step, we get this nice handy socket here and we remove the oxygen sensor. Oh, that's cool. And that's so the wire can go through there. Yeah, of course. You can break Sick. it. And then once we remove the oxygen sensors, then we break the V band at the top. You guys learned, or you guys knew about V bands already. You're yeah. Cool. I know all about V bands. And then once we do that, we're gonna jack it up, go underneath, get the slip joint out, and shoot out. So if someone watching at home that has a super and buys this downpipe from AFE, how long would it take you at home with basic tools? It's not a really difficult job, is it? No, I would say honestly an hour and a half at most. Like unless you drop the car on yourself, your wife dropped something on you, it shouldn't take longer than an hour and a half. Yeah, Johnny Tip, don't get married. Don't get married. See right there, just past the manifold, that right there. I can't point that over myself. It's a downpipe. Jack it up. Take a look underneath here. 
There it is. There is the clamp that has come off. And it's free. And so far, no sign of pizza. No pizza yet. You're winning so far. What do you think? Is the pizza gonna get here first or do they have this done first? I'm just ready to lay some pipe. So like a half. Ah! Is it good? Off? It's hot, it's hot. Rescue him, rescue him. <laughs> oh, look at this old beast. So this Love is the you factory one. Perfectly lined it up with the new AFE one. Look at that. Little different. Is it hot? Oh, yeah. That's gotta be around 500 right here. 450, 500. How much do you think that weighs? Um, not that bad? A lot more than that. More than my cat. More than, more than your and cat? And this is a cat. So I would say about 18 pounds, maybe 20. Oh, the new one's going in. You're fast, Johnny. I'm not that fast. Well, the pizza's not here yet, so technically you're still winning. Just like that, it's already lined up. You're fast, my friend. I think you might I think you might have this one in the bag. I don't smell any pizza yet. You're down there. How long do you have left on this, Johnny? Uh, maybe 10 minutes. Oh, it's gonna be down to the wire. Hot, hot, hot. So correct. this O2 sensor socket has this little notch out here. You guys can see that. And there's the O2 sensor, so you can see there's a big wire on it. So with that notch, you can actually get a socket on there, which makes it a hell of a lot easier than a box and end. A box end and having to hit the hot header. And those sensors aren't cheap, and you'll damage them pretty easily. I mean, I've done it. And one day I discovered this tool, and it really it changed your it life. saved my life, actually. It saved my life. I'm a better person for it. So if you want to do this yourself, it's actually not that complicated. You've got a V-band clamp over here. You've got a band clamp here two bolts and then the two O2 sensors and you're good to go. The hard part is it's hot, so obviously I would recommend not driving the car for an hour first and then just getting it separated by beating on it with a hammer and pulling on it, but overall, it's pretty straightforward. Yeah, Well, the car's back on the ground, that's a good sign. Pizza's still not here. Is it, is it? Pizza's not here, is it? No. All he has left is the air intake and the cover, and it's done. We gotta put the air box back on. This pizza boy better hurry. The road's gonna be closed, find a new way home. Find a new way home, pizza boy. Okay, so that I used was to be pretty a easy. pizza boy. Give me two, Pizza Hut. I, I used to uh, Z Pizza, it's like a little, well, it's a little mom and pop spot. I had an M3, a 95 nice. M3. yeah. And like, I literally E36 would, M3 right here. I'd be sliding corners, and by the time I get to the house, I'd crack the box open, and all the toppings would be on one side of the box. Oh, yeah. Okay, cover goes back on, and this is done. Pizza boy is not here. I think you have this one. Final clamp tightening. Johnny has it in the bag. I was kind of cheating a little bit there. I just fired up. Just fired up. Can we fire it up? Yeah, fire it up. Okay, let's sound. Uh, will it sound different? Yes, it will. Oh shit, it's gonna sound different. Are you ready? Ready. Clear prop. Damon has the key. Oh hell. Oh hell no. No hell no. Look. <sighs> Stand by. Take it for the first drive with the downpipes. Let's see what this girl's got. The world's first. Oh, <laughs> hell yeah. Hell yeah. Holy crap. Oh my god, this thing, this thing is big jam, hey? Yeah. Too late, pizza boy! Too late, pizza boy! Too I late, bro. It. He beat it again, the clock. He, he beats the clock every time. Shot. Man, Cobra, up. flexing on you haters. That's what's up. You gotta come is for. Is Man Cobra holding the camera now? Yes. You gotta come in here. And go I'm for an a integral ride. part of this now. You are. You are. You're full DD fan, man. Well, me. Don't ever wear another shirt again. Listen, you keep eating pizza, you're just gonna slow my car down. Weight reduction's getting rid of Dave. Johnny only drinks water and eats one other thing, and that's it. 
Yeah, we'll, we'll leave that as a blank. Come on. Hello. Hey. Welcome. Johnny's good. Johnny's good. He amazing. beat the pizza guy. He beat him. You ready? ready for this? <laughs> yeah, it's a lot faster now. It's crazy. A turbo, a tuning a downpipe. It's a completely different car. Completely different. An absolute animal. I'll show you guys coming up here. <laughs> We gotta go give Johnny some high fives and Sheepy and Alex and everybody. And he beat the pizza boy. So here's what we're gonna do. Johnny left this in the car the other day. So because of what he did for us, we're gonna give it back. Where's Johnny? The key. Hey. Over here. Over here. First, first of all, we gotta thank the shop owner. And thanks, Alex, for all the work. Everything that he's donated his employees to allow to do. Hey, Hell you killed yeah. it again. This is the only reason why I'm giving this back to you. Hey, is that, that, is that expensive? This is the only way I can get a hold of my mom. <laughs> it's my, my Hello? Mom? 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 Hello? I always call your mom. Hey. Okay, guys. Thank you to Sheepy Race. Thank you to AFE Power. The Super is absolutely crazy. Pure turbos, everybody involved. We have more coming still. We still need to do a straight pipe, bigger exhaust. We're hoping to do it with Charlie. Hey, get over here, wizard. Hey, 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 Do we have the titanium ordered? It's on its way. Okay, titanium exhaust coming for the Supra. Absolutely not. It's gonna sound insane, right? Oh, absolutely. We have a new tune to go with the downpipe and everything, make it even crazier. Johnny, thank you for everything you did installing this. You know. By the way, thanks for repping the new merch. This isn't available yet. However, this is. You guys, please, rep a bit of merch. If you guys wanted to, go to shopdv.com and help support everything we're doing here. None of this is free, by the way. A lot of people assume that YouTubers get everything for free. We don't get everything for free. We had to pay for the turbo, we had to pay for the car, and it's expensive killing all these tires when our tire sponsor doesn't even make these tires yet. So if you wanted to know how you could help support us, if you want, pick up a shirt, a hat, whatever. Links are in description. Until the next episode, we're out. Johnny's going to uh, Johnny's going to BMX for the weekend. How's he getting there? Oh, the BMX guy is going on a private jet. <laughs>